Hi and welcome to another making of comics video. Today I'm going to be working on the thumbnailing and the penciling of comic number seven. Hi, my name is Reese Escobar. I'm a storyboard artist on the Simpsons television show. I've been working on the show for over 25 years now and I'm here to empower you. So uh, just to, this is my little introduction to what you're about to see. Uh, so in July of uh, uh, 2019, I released a video where I showed you my sculpting process of the environment for my comic. Uh, I did that sculpture uh, in CG. I did it all in Blender. Uh, you could watch the whole video. But the, the reason why was because when I came down to having to thumbnail my comic, uh, it came to a screeching halt. I didn't know what uh, the environment looked like, so I didn't know exactly how the shots should look. I didn't know, I knew that there was a shot where there was going to be the money shot, where you're going to get to see the entire environment. But because I didn't know what the environment looked like, I didn't know what, what the best place to put the camera would be to show the environment and then also to show the characters and, and all this other stuff. So uh, it was really important for me to create the environment first before I even started thumbnailing anything. And then once I had it... Uh, designed built so that I could actually see it then I could do the thumbnails so as you will see at the beginning of this video there's going to be the the design is going to be on the left I, I have a screen capture of the of the CG model on the on my little uh, reference uh, area of, of the program and then I'm going to be doing um, the shots and thumbnailing my shots now you get to see the rest of the process uh, this is the beginning of the main process uh, so this uh, whole comic and here's the thing this whole comic uh, I, I started in March so uh, trying to get to the thumbnails I started in March I didn't release the video where I created the CG background until July so it took me uh, quite a few months just to get the CG background and then on top of that then I had to thumbnail everything so in in total it took me eight months to do this comic now eight months not in real time uh, eight months in the hour a day that I tend to work in so each one of these three videos is going to be uh, a sped up version of how long it actually took this particular process actually uh, of thumbnailing and penciling took about uh, 10 hours and 35 minutes so that's how long this process took but uh, we'll speed it up to about eight minutes so that you could see it all play out really quickly. So let's get started. As I said in the intro, you could see that I have the design over on the left. I have the script that you got to see really quickly there. And now I'm thumbnailing stuff out, trying to come up with shots to, for the uh, comic, making adjustments to my uh, script. Okay, so this shot took forever. Um, I. I I thought I had it thumbnailed out. I thought this the the, the very first shot was um, was working, and it turned out it wasn't. So uh, I, I I went through the whole uh, put putting in all the panels and putting in all the dialogue bits. Uh, and uh, this first shot, I even started drawing. I I have my uh, character lineup. I put in the perspective. I put in the really rough poses of what I wanted. And I even roughed out some really quick backgrounds, and then I decided I hated it. I didn't. It, it didn't come out the way I wanted. So uh, I went back to the drawing board and I started re-thumbnailing everything, and I came up with a different shot. I had some reference of how people uh, help each other up from the ground, and I used it uh, to help me uh, draw this better. I, I always try to use as much reference as possible. Now this background <coughs> came from a previous background that I did. So it was already pre-made pre from a different comic, uh, a, a different, pa a different uh, comic strip. And so I just reused it. And here I am tightening up all the drawings. I have my model sheets that I like to place underneath my drawing to get all the proportions right uh, on the character so I don't have to uh, really struggle about the proportions of that particular character. And here I am tightening up all that stuff. Uh, so 
uh, Isabella and Kelsey running. Um, I think I had a reference for them running. You kind of saw it really quickly uh, in, in, in there, but um, I did get a little bit of reference, some help uh, on, on having some good poses for them running. And oh, yeah, there it is. There's I made a CG pose of Kelsey running so that I, I could just use it as reference. And here's the background. Now I'm putting in the background, uh, a, a screenshot of the background into, into the shot. And in order for me to draw the characters in the shot itself, I needed to figure out what the perspective was. So you actually saw me grid out the background and figure out where the horizon line is and all that stuff so that when I drew the characters, they would be in proper perspective. On top of that, I needed to figure out uh, the perspective so that I could put the doors, the, the, the magical doors, so that they actually looked like they were in this environment. Otherwise, uh, I could fake it and, 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 and it could look really bad. Now, these characters were very, very, very tiny. So there was only so much detail. And, the, and this is a, a statue, the, 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 that middle statue was, of that, it was based on my wife, actually. This statue over here. And now I'm tightening up all the drawings so that uh, this is the final line. I don't ink any of this stuff, so this is the final line. And I don't care if the line is a little sloppy. Uh, that's part of the look I'm going for, is that it looks like a drawing. It doesn't look like some kind of finished processed highly inked thing and now I'm adding uh, more CG backgrounds into the shots uh, I have the thumbnail I know what I want I just need a background that fits that idea and here I am again putting the perspective uh, working out the perspective of uh, from the background and uh, uh, backwards engineering some uh, the doors so the perspective of the doors and I'm using a previous comic as part of my model sheet to see what I, how I drew the character before uh, and uh, I have my as you can see I, ha I do have my model sheets in there for reference and here I am again with the CG background and I took a still of this and I have um, it, it helps to have the figure in the shot there so that I know what the size relationship to everything is and again so here's the grid so that I could figure out the perspective so that I could know where to place the characters by hanging their body parts in on the horizon line so that I could have so I could under so I could better know how to spatial how they spatially relate to each other uh, and um, and now I uh, create and, and start drawing all the characters in and tightening up all the drawings. Uh, I draw very, very, very rough. And so when I come in with the final line, that's when uh, I, I start actually making real clear final decisions. And uh, there's a lot of erasing in there, obviously, but um, there we go. And uh, this is a same as panel. Uh, all I have to do is slightly readjust the character's positions for acting purposes. I basically just grabbed and moved the drawing of the head from the first drawing and I reused it and just changed the expression. And there we go, tightening it up again, doing a some uh, slight adjustments and their magic, the magical door. Uh, okay, so here I am redoing the background doing a, a, a the background so I could uh, then uh, place it on every single one of these drawings and uh, here we are uh, I, re I reused the face again in this one except now this time it got covered up and I'm reusing a previous pose from a different comic for this character here and looked up some reference on on how to hold bowls so that it looked natural to hold the bowl from that position. Uh, and again, I used the uh, model sheet that I created for each character as part of the process. Now, if you noticed, his hat had a CG hat. I actually took, and this is a CG hat too. I used a CG hat and put it on their heads because that way uh, I could I don't have to worry about uh, not getting an accurate looking fedora sitting on somebody's head. 
I, I find it really annoyingly tricky to draw fedoras, so I just uh, found the CG fedora and I just place it in the in, in the way that I need it to look and then I just plop it on my character's heads and then I just trace the fedora on there and and, uh, and it helps a lot quite quite a bit uh, and to speed things up so I don't have to fight and figure it all out so here uh, is the thumbnails uh, so this is the originally this was gonna be ha have like character reaction shots and then I said uh, there was uh, I'm glad I didn't do it uh, there was no need uh, CG background again and I just placed the character on there puking and this was probably one of the easier bits of the uh, drawing all I had to do was uh, mostly trace back and change some of the heads because it was a same as uh, some same as panels and uh, I didn't add any backgrounds here there was no need to uh, every I had already established where these two characters uh, sat in space so I decided to leave it blank so it saved me some time okay um after this i struggled a little bit with this guy's face and actually you know this character's face i eventually uh, and you can see me drawing my own hand there uh, eventually i changed that face but uh, that's it from me thanks a lot for watching and uh, i'll see you next time okay bye